Somewhere Wales, a free drive narrow gauge game set somewhere in Wales. This game has been around since 2018 and plenty of engines have come and gone throughout its life. Today I shall be ranking the currently operational engines from least favorite to most favorite. This is my own personal opinion so yours might differ from mine. So without further ado, let's get going. At number 16, we have Arrowworth. To be honest, he is my least favorite of the bunch for a number of reasons. First of all, he's just way too fast. Now, don't get me wrong, I love fast, but I think he may be too fast in this case. I cannot count the number of times someone has crashed into me because they couldn't apply the brakes in time. Another reason is due to his speed, people just use him all the time. Like, come on, canonically, he would be dead from the overuse he has had. This is why he is my least favorite engine in Somewhere Wales. At spot number 15 is the big blue tank engine, Dylan. I had a hard time deciding if I should put him at 16 or 15, but I decided spot's 15. Generally, I like him more than Arrowworth due to the fact that he's not the go-to engine for most players and he has a banging soundtrack. However, he has plenty of faults to speak of. First of all, he derails way too easily, like I have been on many trains where he just flat out falls off the track and lays to the side. Second of all, he is a big fella, so he can get stuck sometimes in certain areas. And finally, he's just really annoying to operate. Now, all the locos on this list can be hard to operate for beginners, but I personally find him a chore to balance out on the rails and not fall to the side. Overall, he's slightly better than Arrowworth, but not by much. At number 14, we have the Lean Logging Engine Eustace. Now to tell you the truth, I really enjoy Eustace. He's a powerful tender engine, looks amazing, and has good lore. But there is one glaring issue that makes me really hate using him, and that is copyright. Eustace's songs constantly get copyrighted by Roblox. At this point, I really don't use him since he only has one or no songs being able to be played. One of the main reasons I play some real whales is for the music, but with Eustace, he has little to no music to be played. This is why I rarely use him. Coming in at number 13 is the Small Green Saltine. Now you may be wondering, why is one of the most popular engines in Summer Wales so low on your list? Well, I have my reasons. For one, it's a shunter. Though don't get me wrong, shunters are great and all, but saltine is just a shunter, yet people use it to haul cargo up the mountain. Like come on, it doesn't even have enough water to get it to Juneville, and it's slow so it would cause clogging on the line. Now yes, Saltine's music is great, and it is a good shunter, but I feel like people use it like they would Gary. Maybe I'm being biased against the small engine fans, but I never really see myself hauling a passenger train with a live steam cracker. Speeding up to number 12 is the blue tank engine Big Iron. Like with Saltine, you may be asking me, why well, hate on Big Iron? He's Denver's favorite locomotive. Well, it's not that I hate Big Iron, I just have some issues with him. Starter, he can be kind of underpowered. I have noticed in the past few updates that his speed has been nerfed slightly. This might not be a massive problem, but to someone who has been running him for over a year, this could be quite jarring. Another reason is that, until recently, he had a bug with his back coupler which made some rolling stock be raised up. I know it has been fixed, but I'm still kind of annoyed at it. And finally, the song that is his namesake keeps getting copyrighted by Roblox. Maybe I'm being petty here, but I really have not had the best time with Big Iron. Slowly crawling into 11th place is Ralph. Ralph is a mixed bag for me. For one, he has great music and looks pretty amazing. He has two different whistles, which is quite cool to say the least. And he has a massive engine. But he has a few issues that make me really dislike him. For one, he doesn't slow down fast enough. Due to his massive size, he can be quite hard to handle which can cause derailments or crashes. Second of all, he is quite buggy. Slopes will cause him to come to a standstill, and his front bogey can easily come off and cause derailments. I mean, someone even wrote a manual on how to operate Ralph. If an engine needs a manual on how to correctly operate it, then it has some pretty big issues. One of the more interesting engines out there, Gilbert slides to the spot 10. He's much better than Ralph is currently, and is a great runner for the passenger side of things. 
The story is an interesting one, as he used to spawn at the old slate quarry, and had a bug which his spawn broke after a while. This is my main reason for putting him at spot 10. He would have been lower on the list if his spawn hadn't fixed itself, but since it somehow fixed itself, he gets to go higher on the list. Slowly steaming into number 9 is the infamous Quirk. Originally, her old model was quite a slow runner, and Roblox updates were breaking her. When she got a new model, everyone liked it for 10 minutes. Then it was discovered that it had the same issue as Gilbert, and that's the reason why Ethan no longer does rebuilds. However, like Gilbert, her spawn fixed itself, and fixed that she narrowly avoided being lower on the list. This is the reason why Gilbert and Quirk are next to each other, and not higher up. Oh yeah, she was also the incident of a spamming attack a while back, but those have since died down. Generally, she is a pretty good local, but I don't use her since she can be slow at times. Well, that wraps up part 1 of this video. Thank you all for watching my first ever ranking video. Part 2 will be coming out soon, but it may take longer. Comment down below what your favorite engine is, and if this video was good or not. That's all for now, see you in the second part!